Hi everyone, once again welcome back to the channel and today I am going to show you the uh, Proteus Mirabilis that is isolated from a uh, foot pus. There was an injury that led to this infection and you can see that there is a swarming growth. So the main uh, thing that we can uh, check about the uh, Proteus Mirabilis is uh, over the swarming growth that you can see over in this plate. Then the other process for its uh, sensitivity and here is a sens sensitivity that shows that there are different types of drugs including amikacin, salzone, seclor, trigliceride, tetracycline, erythromycin, gentamicin, amoxicillin and uh, <coughs> also we have imipenum, ceftriaxone, tazobactam and uh, phosphomyosin, ciprofloxacin, meropenum and a cluston sulfate. All of these drugs were applied over this just to check the antibacterial, antibacterial sensitivity is also infectious but usually it occurs or come around when you do not care about anything uh, about the safety preventive measures about the, in the injury that leads to the proteus including many other bacteria that as well you can see over here as you can see the greenish colonies these belongs to the pseudomonas aeruginosa over here in this video and uh, this can lead to many complications and uh, resistance of many antibiotics that will lead to gangrene or many other serious issues. If you get the gangrene from any type of clostridium or gaseous gas gangrene or any other type of dry gangrene, then you will have to cut your body part to get the cure. Otherwise, if it gets attached to your bone, it will cause many serious infections. So there you can see the Proteus mirabilis over here. It has a swarming growth all around. Thank you so much for watching the video. Take care, Allah Hafiz.